Hi, my name is Michael Fong, and I'm the Managing Director and Vice President for Asia for Blizzard. Congratulations, 10th year anniversary for WoW in Taiwan. Awesome. Wow, I can't believe it. You know, I've been with the company for a long time, and I've walked the 10 year journey together with you. I've had so many memories over the years, too many to mention on this short video. And besides, I don't want to spend hours boring you with my reminiscing. But I guess if I could think about the memory that I hold dearest to my heart, it would be 10 years ago when we were getting ready to launch the game in Taipei. Um, and when I think about all the teams that came in from Irvine, working together with the local teams, um, all of us working around the clock, nonstop, to make sure every, all the systems were in place, the hardware was deployed, and testing everything to make sure everything was ready to go live. And then finally, to turning the switch and going live and watching all the Taiwan players coming into Azeroth and experiencing the world for the first time. Still gives me chills when I think about it. So congratulations on the 10th year anniversary. Thank you for all the support over the years that you've given World of Warcraft and all the passion you've shown for World of Warcraft and all of our Blizzard games. And most importantly, thanks so much for all the great memories over the years. Congratulations. You're all very important. Cheers. Hi, my name is Rob Breidenbecker. I'm the Vice President of Technology Strategy and Planning here at Blizzard. Uh, congratulations on the 10th anniversary of World of Warcraft in Taiwan. So my earliest memories of World of Warcraft go back to the launch. Um, Taiwan was uh, arguably one of our smoothest rollouts. Uh, we had learned a lot of lessons uh, early on after we had launched in a handful of other countries around the world. Uh, and so when, when several of us flew to Taiwan uh, to manage the operations and oversee the, uh, the rollout of the infrastructure, uh, it was a pretty exciting time. Uh, there was a lot of passion from the community to see the game finally released uh, and we, we would all sit around uh, you know, in, a, in a pretty small room, uh, uh, grab some pizza, grab some beer uh, and take a look at the, the monitoring tools that we had to see the, the servers light up and it was just a, a phenomenal time. You could feel the energy, you could feel the electricity in the air with players that just as soon as we, we flipped the switch and the servers came online, they just bombarded the servers. And yet, uh, they were able to, to do so uh, in, a, in a really smooth fashion. Uh, I, you know, I'd love to say that in all the, the markets around the world, we had it as good as we did in Taiwan. Uh, but I think that, uh, that uh, we, we had perfected a lot of our uh, systems by that point. And as a result, uh, we, we really ended up with an amazing launch. And I just, I remember falling in love with just the, the, the country and the region. Um, and, and a lot of that had to do with that passion around World of Warcraft and seeing the game finally come uh, into Taiwan. So uh, with that said, congratulations once again on 10 years of World of Warcraft in Taiwan. And you are very important. Hello, Taiwanese players. My name is Mike Morheim. I'm CEO and co-founder of Blizzard Entertainment. And I can't believe it, but uh, it's already been 10 years since we launched World of Warcraft in Taiwan. So I wanted to congratulate you all on 10 years of uh, playing and supporting World of Warcraft. Um, and I hope you continue to enjoy the game. We have great things planned in the future. You know, we're working on the next expansion. Legion, we're very excited about it. We're also very excited about the World of Warcraft movie coming out next year. And uh, I hope that in 10 years from now, I will be congratulating you on 20 years of World of Warcraft. But I just wanted to thank you and say you are very important.